Good morning guys, can you hear me? All right, great, great, great. Just going through some uh, okay okay i'll talk about tesla tesla i shorted some uh pre-market uh, higher than here i shorted some like eight eight uh 866 and then i shorted some more like 846 i think it started breaking below this rising moving average on the 60 minute chart and now you know there's a lot of downside in it i i'm short just shy of 4,000 shares total uh and yeah it not really an ideal scenario um with a gap down and everything we close and gap down but it is what it is um so i'm short 4000 i'm trying to you know trying to catch a big move in it Is there any plan for in case there is a what dude guys the market haven't even open yet starting to think about to what, what will happen tomorrow in pre-market it's way too early it's way too early Are you talking about today, like in case it goes violently up before the open now in the ten, next 10 minutes? Uh, well, you know, I'll just obey my stops. Like if it would go up 50, $50 between now and the open. Like here are my stop levels. That's what I would do. Every stop level is a thousand shares. I thought you were talking about tomorrow in the in the morning. Um, earnings season has started. There are some interesting companies reporting, but I'm not super excited about anything this this morning. Not super excited about any any of these. Uh, 
let's see here. Uh, what's my average? Uh, well, I, it doesn't reflect my uh, correct average since I, I, I fat fingered a trade in after hours yesterday. Uh, it didn't really change my average, but uh, you know my platform says my average is 870, which is not true. It's way higher. Uh, again, I fat fingered. Uh, like the, the shares I shorted here at 8 957 or whatever it was, they, they're not uh, reflected in my position since I kind of re accidentally replaced them in after hours yesterday. Uh, my real average is probably like, I don't know, 900 or maybe 910 or something. No, I don't know, like 900-ish. It's very weak so far. Yeah, my biggest regret yesterday is not shorting more when it broke this 60-minute uh, candle at 9.25. I should have shorted another 10, uh, not sorry, not 10,000 shares, but 1,000 shares. I really should have. But that's okay. Oh, Snapchat, they had a profitable quarter, really? Interesting. I still no, nothing on the long, on my long watch list. Not super excited about any of these earnings movers I have here. LK may be a short candidate. It, it's 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 bounced from the other day and uh, it's up closing in on 40, you know, closing in on 50% since the lows three sessions ago. I'm thinking it could have a five dollar reversal or something like three to five dollar intraday reversal. So I'm stalking it, nothing I'm gonna go crazy on. Um, you know, most of my stocks are gapping since the markets are gapping, obviously. Like Baba is almost back to all time highs, just amazing. Telada, yeah, like everything is gapping higher, except Tesla, which is gapping lower and that's how we want it. I would not be surprised if Tesla hits mid low 700s today. I would I will not be I would not be surprised at all. Uh, I'm going to get ready to you know the usual stuff uh, you know short opening range lows and uh, ranges to the downside. I will add that is um, A little bit late today, but that's okay. So far, Tesla is really, really weak. Locates, I mean, what? Locates, expensive? It's easy to borrow. And when I, easy to borrow, and, and if, you, if it's not easy to borrow, they should be really, really cheap. What kind of, what, what broker are you using? You're getting ripped off. Yeah, PFH log, you're getting ripped off. You should change brokers. 
Tesla is easy to borrow. And if it's not easy to borrow, the borrow should be really, really, re yeah, you're getting ripped off. Like even if I try, like it's easy to borrow in my brokerage. And even if I try to locate it, like I could pay for it, even though it's easy to borrow. And you know, it's, it's almost free. It's 0 0.09 cents per share. It's pretty much nothing. Or 0 0.04, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't, you shouldn't pay anything for the Tesla borrow. Zero is what you should pay for it. Whole, wait, it's not easy to borrow for you? Really? You should probably consider uh, switching brokers. You should use center point. Like I, I get why people use straight zero, they have great uh, locates, but center point also has great locates and they're not going to rip you off. Okay, the markets are open in, well, very soon. <clears throat> yeah, that's really weird. Like it's easy to borrow everywhere. Okay, let's get it for Tesla potential opening range lows. Like this thing could go down further than, okay, there is some support near 800, but. Oh shit, I missed it. I missed the ad. I wanted to get some uh, 8, uh, 810. I know, I, I tried to anticipate the one minute candle a little bit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, fuck, 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 I missed it. No. Not good. Please bounce back, please bounce back. Please bounce a little bit. Please, please, please bounce a little bit. Oh, fuck.
Oh fuck, I missed the LK entry. Ah. if Tesla takes out the opening range highs I will stice down a little bit look in some profits and reassess later Oh, Jesus, LK, I can't believe this is happening. Plug is breaking out nicely. Wow, IPHI, nice move. Okay, Tesla, I just sized down a little bit. The ads I did 845 or whatever it was. Oh, LK, fuck. Wait, SSR is on Tesla? Is SSR on? Really? It is on. <sighs> of course it's on. Okay. I really like to see this thing bounce back to like 860s or something. Or, or even higher. That would be great. And then look, look for some kind of um, weakness late day. I think the trade is potentially going to be late day. It's just too much buying frenzy right now. Usually in the you know near the open, that's when everyone is enthusiastic and optimistic and everything. All right, good, good, good. Very nice little bounce here. I'm very happy I sized down on the opening range, uh, opening range highs. Yeah, it would be great if it bounces back to mid high 80s. And LK, oh shit, that was a five star layout. I was just, and I didn't want. I the entry was like 3905, and I didn't want to chase it like 3895. This would have been, oh my god, this would have been a 50k trade. Oh. This would have been like a quick 5 minute 50k trade. Great. Thanks for playing. 
I should really hire an assistant. I, I should I should hire an assistant that helps me with order entry. I really should. Because having someone f like I could literally hire someone full time. Even though they only would work like 30 minutes per day. Because I just missed the 50k trade. I just can't do everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't need any resumes. I just need someone who has two eyes and two hands. Do you qualify? <laughs> Great, <laughs> you're hired. <laughs> Halo, why is this thing up so much? And that's Gen 2. Yeah, PBYI has nice follow through from yesterday.
Yeah. Damn it. This Tesla is weaker than I anticipated. I thought I, I really hoped it would bounce more. Um, Wow, if this thing takes out lows of the day now, now that I covered up a quarter of my position, opening range highs, that would be um, that would be annoying. Fuck this stock. They they don't make it easy. Fucking shoppy stock. I hate this stock. At least they all they could you know they they. Ugh. Fuckers. Yeah, I'm really pissed right now. They just couldn't give us an easy trade. They have to make it so fucking hard. They can't let me have my first million dollar trade, like a smooth trade, where you can short a tight, tight range with big size and then it goes just straight down. No, no. They couldn't give us that. And also missed LK. I, I'm not in a bad, good mood right now. Fuck it. Well, I'm not gonna chase it here because now it could easily bounce 50 points like nothing, but it also could also fade 50 points. So now it's just a gamble. Yeah, I know. Just pisses me off. This combined with LK, I mean, I mean, LK is hitting new lows. My God, if this thing goes to like 35 today, I, you know, that would have been like a hundred thousand dollar trade right there. Just have to be so fast sometimes. Just have to be incredibly fast. Okay, Tesla is bounce again. Okay, so uh, someone asked me, uh, BFH log, you asked me what kind of setup I'm gonna looking for. I was too pissed off like three minutes ago to answer that. Uh, something I would like to see, obviously a series of lower highs and then a range break to the downside. I'm gonna show you a perfect example from, if you, I'll zoom in a little bit, like this day here. 
15th of I think it was 15th of January. I have to uh, look in the yeah 15th of January. Like this would be an ideal setup. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. So this is so the 14th. No, sorry. Here it is. You know, it looked like a it looked like a peak, right? It looked like okay, maybe maybe this this is the top, right? So I'm, so I short it uh, some that day because it closed kind of weak. And next day it gapped down and pushed back higher. So this is this day here. So you can see it on the 60 minute chart. Gapped down, pushed back higher, retested like the middle of the range of the previous day. And then it went kind of sideways for four hours. And late day it started breaking lower from this tight, tight, uh, like $5 range. And look at what it did. It went down. like 40 bucks in the next few hours in, up in, into next next day. That would be something I would like to see, like a tight, tight range for the rest of the day and then a breakdown from that range. You know, something tight where you can put, in, put on a lot of shares and get like a one to 10 risk reward out of, out of the trade. That's been missing from this Tesla short so far. There, there hasn't been any tight ranges like it's just straight down from uh, from 10 minutes before the close yesterday. It's straight down 20%. How the fuck do you trade that? It's just impossible. You know what I'm interested in? These oil things. X up. UWT Gush. If I had caught that LK trade, I, I would be fine. Right now, I'm in a really bad mood. Really bad mood. Yeah, right now, Tesla could do anything. There's no range here, it's just the middle of the range. It could bounce 50, it could go down 50 at any time. Yeah, I'll be I'll calm down. Like in an hour it be, it will be all fine again. You know, so far I'm up like uh, 300k on this Tesla short uh, I don't know my real average since I fucked it up in after hours yesterday, but uh, 
it's 300k plus so it's all good and you know this thing is still easily another 200 points of downside so i mean this will like like the size i have on now it will easily be half a million dollar trade but i really need a tight tight setup to get to that million dollar trade and that's what pissing me off like i'm trying to get to from a million dollar trade for so long now this this had the potential and it's just such a hard trade and oh Yes, I was short biased LK. Opening range lows. I missed the trade. Because I was fiddling in some other stuff. I was looking at some other stocks that I didn't have on my watch list. <sighs> and I missed the obvious, the obvious trade. I mean, it's a perfect trade. It's a perfect trade. This is what I said pre-market. I thought... You know, this thing could have a 3 to $5 intraday move to the downside. You know, 39.50. And so far, it almost had a $3 move to the downside intraday from the opening range lows. It's a perfect entry, 39.05. I had 25,000 shares ready to go. And I missed my entry. So I was doing other shit. Yes. It's a perfect short entry. It's a perfect short setup. You have, you know, a big bounce. You have a lot of overhead resistance. You have short-term downtrend. You know, it was almost a 50% bounce. You know, it's a, you know, implement this chart in your brain. There's millions to made from these kinds of setups. It's a perfect short setup, really is. And you don't get these very often on these ultra liquid stocks. That's the thing. That's what makes me even more frustrated. You know, it's easy to borrow. It's kind of high priced. You know, it's just so cheap to short short these things compared to like NNVC, where you you know have to pay thousands and thousands to get borrows. So yeah, you know. Oh. Hmm. Not happy. Not happy. Yeah, exactly. Just a multiple day up move. And the uh, LK, you know, it was, you know, like in three days or four days, it was up 50%. This is, a, you know, it's a big stock. It's a big move for a stock like this. And it has overhead resistance. So that's, uh, that's the reason. Okay, let's do another scan here. Man, it's incredible how important those first like 5, 10, 15 minutes are in trading. Like if you fuck stuff up, you know, it's going to cost you thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, depending on the size you trade. Just incredible. Just really, you know, put your phones on mute, like shut off everything.
and just focus and that's what I that's what I missed here I don't know I'm a little bit tempted to do this oil trade question is with what instrument yeah STC having nice follow through from yesterday I passed on it Uko Uko is a very thin, it's it's a very thin ETF. I'm thinking about EXA. Oh no, not EXA. Hmm, I don't know. I mean Uko. Or UW. I don't know. I mean, Uke, yeah, Uko looks decent. Uh, but it's a laggard. It's lagging. That's the problem. Like, Exop is nice and liquid, but it's, uh, it's not one of the faster moving ones, unfortunately. I'm thinking about doing ERX. That, that has the ba best balance of. Or it's not super liquid either. I'll do ERX. I'll do like 25,000 shares of ERX. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll do 25,000 shares right here. So, or sorry, at 20. 20 or 25 I'll do 20 no I'll do 25 <laughs> okay 25,000 shares okay great uh, and I'm risking like what 20 20 cents 40 40 cents I'm risking 40 cents uh, no wait what am I risking here 38 35 cents is what I'm risking yeah okay great all right Oh, sorry, this is, should be here. So Tesla, if you look at the 60 minute chart, it just got rejected of this 20 uh, period line on the 60 minute chart, this yellow line. It couldn't uh, bounce above it. Oh my God, Tesla, I think it may have another leg lower soon, like right here. It's just building a powerful bear flag intraday hmm just lower highs all the way and the, uh, where do I short it if I'm gonna short it like it's below VWAP Again, this thing could unwind faster than anyone thinks is possible. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing goes to like 700 today. We'll see, obviously.
No, I didn't buy STC yesterday. I didn't. I was looking at it the whole day yesterday, and I passed on it. I bought Vive instead, which is not a fast mover. GBTC is uh, looking strong. I just added a little uh, another 1,100 sh uh, shares to my Tesla short. I'm gonna use a fairly tight stop on it. If you look at the intraday chart, it looks really, really weak. It's below VWAP. I'm gonna use this 810 or so as my stop on it. Eight, no, so 807. 808 is gonna be my stop on it. It looks super weak. Tight stop on these ads. And I may add even more. Like ideally, it's, it goes sideways for longer. But you know, if it and if it does, it builds a tight range. That's you know, you know, and then starts breaking down later in the day. I'll add more. You know, I'm just gonna play these ranges. This is what I wanted from the beginning. This is what I wanted, 100 points higher, you know, a tight range. That's okay. You know, one promise I made to myself with this Tesla trade is, uh, you know, not get scared out of trades on the, on the backside. Because so I'm always such a bad backside trader. And that's really where the big money is. Uh, so far, it looks good. GBTC looks so good on the weekly chart. I really like it. Okay, Tesla, let's do this. Yeah, GBTC, yeah. <clears throat> to the moon, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is, this is, you know, Bitcoin could very easily double or something. You never know. I mean, if Bitcoin just goes back to like July highs or June highs, that's like 50% from here. So there's definitely, you know, potential. Absolutely. Clovis is interesting. What the hell is that sound outside? Oh. My neighbor's mailbox just got shredded. <laughs> oh my god. You made a big move. <clears throat> X up. I'm a little bit tempted buying X up also. <clears throat> 
Because ERX is really not liquid enough for me to buy a big position. Oh, Tesla! Holy shit! That was a nice ad! Aha! Price action didn't lie. What can I say? Price action didn't lie. And now this thing has zero support until like 680. There's literally no support. That That's like what, 10% from here? Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, I'm up a half a mil on this trade. Oh, this is my biggest trade so far. This is my biggest trade so far. I've been up like 300, 350k on stuff. But I've never been up half a million on anything. I, I, I'm not sure this will be a million dollar trade, but it's gonna be close to if it goes to where I think it will go. <sighs> I probably jinxed myself. Now it's probably gonna bounce like a hundred points. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it bounces here. <laughs> yeah, look, if I had caught that LK move also, this would have been an insane day. Uh, but I'm not pissed off anymore. Now I'm just annoyed. And if Tesla goes down another 50, 100 points today, I'll be in a very good mood. I'll probably remove this 963 stop. That's just quite a bit. No, I'm not. Uh, let's see, what is this? GBTC, yeah. Don't congratulate me yet. May I, I, <laughs> maybe I just marked the bottom of this thing. Just because I celebrated, it's probably gonna go back to like 900 in a straight line and stop me out of all of my stop levels. Just jinxed myself. I'm like 80% certain I just jinxed myself. No joke. Fuck. I got rid of some positions like this APPSI. It's just a tiny position. I'm tired of looking at it. Even if it doubles from here, it's not going to make me a lot of money. So I'll just get rid of it. Tesla is done, yeah, I, I hope so. Well, I don't hope so, like, you know, I don't, I, I don't want this thing. I mean, like, I want this thing to, like, go down a few hundred points more, and then I want it to have another leg higher up to 2,000. I don't want this thing to ever go down. As soon as I'm covered, I want this thing to go up at 500%. Oh, no, don't say LK. Oh, for fuck's sake oh my god oh no this would have been i mean oh this is yeah and what did i say pre-market I, I i said this thing could go down three to five dollars intraday and now it's down like three and a half dollars intraday and it's a very liquid stock i chose you know i had an order of twenty five thousand shares ready Not happy. I am not happy about that trade. I'll, I'll just look at the Tesla chart. Yeah. My, my, my mood suddenly is much better. I'm just gonna ignore LK for the rest of the day. I'll also ignore STC. Okay, never mind. STC just crapped out. Okay. Good thing I didn't buy it yesterday. All right, Tesla. Do what you have to do. Maybe I should cover some. I'll, I'll just cover like 100, 200 shares just to lock in some, you know. 
I have 3,900 shares at the moment, so I'll, I'll just cover like 100 shares. Let's go Tesla! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's do this, Tesla. Let's do this. Chia sex is fading. That's not really what I want to see. Yeah. Tesla is down, yeah, 20%, more than 20% from the highs yesterday. Yeah, exactly, and that's what is so frustrating about it, that it just went straight down, you know. It would have been great, like, like this little bear flag, you know, this little perfect, like, this is, like, perfect. You have a range, you have lower highs, you have, you know, VWAP, you can't uh, reclaim VWAP. Why couldn't this happen a hundred points higher, right? Why couldn't this formation happen? I, I would be, you know, up a, f you know, I, I, I could have had such, uh, have such, you know, much more size with a higher average. And th that's, this is what's so frustrating about it. Like, why couldn't this happen a hundred points higher? I would have so much more size with a much better average. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to, you know, maybe I can still make a million on it. But I need to have faith that it goes down to like 550. Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. They didn't make it easy. It's so oh, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. And this is what trading is. And this is why I'm so frustrated about the LK too, because this was literally a five star setup. And I just fucked it up. Yeah, exactly. Whole world, you know, like the whole world was watching this thing. I mean, like yesterday, Tesla was probably more liquid. Tesla alone, I think, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla alone had more dollar volume than like the whole German stock market or the whole uh, British stock market or the whole Japanese stock market. It wouldn't surprise me. Like I did the math yesterday, like Tesla was as liquid as the next 20 most liquid stocks in the US stock market. It's just crazy. Like everyone's watching this thing. Everyone in the whole world is watching this thing. Okay, not everyone, of course, but you get what I mean. You understand what I mean. Well, what can I say? It's been an emotional roller coaster so far today. <laughs> emotional roller coaster. And that's what's so, why it's so hard. You get really frustrated. You get angry. You feel fear. You, you have these, all these feelings like fear of missing out, fear of taking a big loss, uh, fear of missing a big trade. And you have all these things happening. You know, you have alerts going off near the open. You have this and that happening. You have to manage your existing positions. So nothing is, you know, going to zero in your portfolio. Everything is happening at once and you have to do these rational trading decisions. You know, correct sizing, correct uh, stop loss, you know, identifying a good setup. It's just really, really, really hard, really hard. And it takes years to become good and still, still you fuck it up. Like all the time. 
like was it last week i i had like like i think i was 50 or 100k in loss no not 100k i think but like 50k in missed profits because i fat fingered stuff you know super hard super super hard but do you know what's funny tesla is now where it was on monday late day monday it's down 20 percent and it's where it was late day monday and it has to go down another like 10 or all like 14 percent to get it where it was on friday so you know even though it's down 20 percent right now from the highs a little more it, it has still a lot of downside no, I use it in my head. No, I don't use a calculator. Look, it's very easy. I just do like a thousand or twelve hundred shares at a time. Because it's very easy to do the math on thousand shares, you know. If I have a twenty dollar stop, I know my risk is twenty k. Like it's super easy. Don't have to. It's not like I'm doing. Uh, oh, I'm gonna short uh, five hundred and seventy nine shares. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I keep it simple. I keep it simple. This is why I had an order of 25,000 shares on LK because I knew, hey, if I, ri if I risk uh, 40 cents, I'll risk 10K. Very simple, nice round numbers. Or I don't know what my initial risk was going to be. I don't remember. I think it was 40 cents. Went 39.05, uh, 45 cents. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to risk a little bit more than 10K, like 11K or something. Just keep it simple. <laughs> I see these things on Twitter that this coronavirus is not going away. Interesting. I wonder if this thing keeps spreading, if the coronavirus pumps come back. Wait, wait, did, oh, here's my shorts. Let's see. My main coronavirus place, Zoom. <laughs> mRNA. Heck, I'll put some alerts here. I and know all the way back. Wow. You know, this codex looks actually pretty good. This is not going away. It's been building higher lows. Interesting. I'll put it back on my watch list. This thing is not going away. Huh. And it's also pretty liquid. That's a good thing. Yeah. APT had a big move. It bounced off this rising 20 day moving average. I'll put it back on too. Because this is not one of these. Uh you know, pumps. Like this is a legit company actually, you know, manufacturing a product that could help. Uh, the rest are just crap stocks.
I'm just preparing for an eventual scenario that could happen. It's probably this, they're probably not gonna wake up again. I, I, you know, there's a good chance these pumps are done. But if they do, I want to be prepared. Especially like in the market we are not, right now, it's a very strong bull market. There's a lot of speculation money uh, pouring in, and you, you never know. You have to be prepared for the unexpected. There's a lot of silly money chasing things, you know, Tesla has really been, a, you know, one of the greatest short squeezes in history that happened this week. In a market like this, you have to prepare for the dumbest thing to happen, really. I'm a little bit intrigued by this CHK. Last time I was long this thing, it went up like... Ah, it only went up 25%, never mind. Wasn't... It, didn't this thing go bankrupt? MDR... MDR went bankrupt. CHK is probably weeks or months away from bankruptcy. And now it's all about waiting for the next setup on Tesla. I, I think we may get another really good entry point later in the day. But this, you know, it could easily b bounce back towards 800. Like an ideal scenario is if it bounces around in like 770, 70, 790 area for the next three, four hours. And then late day, you know, builds a tight range and then start, starts breaking below that range and goes down another 50, 80 points, 100 points uh, before it close. That would be like the ideal scenario. But yeah, I'm I'm very happy so far. I I was now I was up uh, 500k at the lows, or almost 500k. It was almost 500k. Exact again, I don't know my exact average from because I screwed up the um, with the fat finger. I pretty much replaced my shares uh, after hours yesterday. I fat finger covered and I, then I reshorted at the same price. Uh, but the and the average in my count reflects only the you know the this the the fat finger entry which is I don't know almost a hundred points lower than my end of day entry. Uh. And now it's all a waiting game. You get this super adrenaline rush the first 30 minutes out of the gate. And then the rest of the day it's just it's just painful. You just have to wait. And you can't really do anything else either. It's not like I can go away and you know to the gym and put in a workout. No, I have to like I have to watch these things. And that's the worst part. You know, I'd like to read a good book, but I can't focus on a good book because I have to stock these things. Like Tesla. Well, mainly Tesla. I really don't... I'm not really stalking anything else right now. Or, or okay, Codex and APT and stuff like that too, but in case they trigger. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can afford the Taycan now, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. That would be a nice car to have, but it's just so small. I, I would like to have a, you know, I'd like to have an SUV. I like SUVs. Because I don't want multiple cars. I just want to have one car. Oh, 
Hummer? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, the yeah, the new electrical Hummer. Aren't they gonna really re like um, do the electrical Hummer? I read something about it. Holy shit! 2022. Oh, it's two years from now. Don't you have? Uh, yeah. I mean the. Uh, not where I live. But the inside of the city, yeah. I'm like in a, um, uh, like not the inside of it, like a little bit outside, like a suburb or whatever you want to call it. Nah, the Hummer is ugly. No, it's ugly. It's super ugly. If if these pictures are real, look at the front. It looks super ugly. Are these pictures real? Oh, I don't think these pictures, they're just maybe, you know, someone who... No, I don't think these are real. Nah, I'll just wait for the Cybertruck. Who the fuck buys an electric Hummer when you can have the Cybertruck? Yeah, Tesla f really no resist uh, support until like 655. And the next support would be like, I don't know, 590 ish. And after that, uh, I don't know, 470? Hmm. No, GSX, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Hmm. But it did do that. Heck, if Codex takes out highs of the day, I'll buy some. buy some Uh, VSTM, yes, I was swinging this. I, I've been swinging this for uh, over a month now. That is true. What's Tesla doing? Oh! Oh, it's sitting in your nose. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm I'm gonna do something I don't do often. I'm gonna post a PNL picture in uh, in Twitter. But only if it goes sub seven hundred today. Okay, let's do another scan.
ACB is fading back a bit. I'm gonna put a stop on ACB. This Beyond Meat doesn't look bad. This 114 area. If it starts breaking out above that, it could be good. Okay, I, I'll cover 100 more shares of Tesla soon. Just to, uh, just to lock in some. You know, I'm down to 3,800 shares. I really, really don't want to cover anything big until sub 700. A lot of stocks having big reversals to the downside. Like, look at Baba. Look at what Bali Baba did. Look at this scandal. It's totally engulfing yesterday's candle. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but it's a strong stock. It's it's a really strong stock. I'm really happy it bounced back that strong. Bounced. You know, they couldn't keep it under the 50, rising 50 day. They just couldn't. Okay, this is interesting. Rita. So there was some. Takeover shattered from Amgen or rumors. And now someone says there. Oh, well, you can read it yourselves. Interesting. Hmm. I am stalking for uh, for uh, to add more on these oil things. I'm stalking UWT and XUP. This UCO. Uh, UCO and UWT are pretty much the same thing. They move exactly the same, pretty much. Except UWT is a bit more liquid. I'll put an alert for this thing later.
Yeah, Tesla is definitely for the history books. No, 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 no doubt. It's probably gonna take a long time before we see anything like this again in a stock that is this big and liquid. Pro probably gonna take many, many years. Hopefully not, but you know, from what I've seen, like I have a huge chart database. I looked at all the biggest movers and the last time I found such a big mover was 2008 with Volkswagen that went from like 200 billion in mar uh, sorry 100 billion in market cap or 50 billion in market cap to like 400 billion in a few days on that famous short squeeze and before that I haven't found any until uh, like uh, uh, since like 2000 99 2000 so, you know, these kinds of enormous moves on liquid stocks, they, they really rare, really rare. Super rare, incredibly rare. You know, fortunes are, fortunes are made and lost on these kinds of stocks. Well, I don't know where they tweeted, but they did not nail the top. I think it, they, they tweeted before it hit uh, new highs. But who knows? I don't know. I don't really care. Eight eighty ish. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. And you know, the problem is stock went up another uh, like ten percent. And you know, it could have easily gone to, you know, thousand, eleven hundred, you know, who knows? And I don't know if he did stock or if he did options, I have no idea. What's my Vive doing? Uh, not that great. Tilray looks like shit again. I really thought this thing had potential. On the weekly chart, it looks so clean on the weekly chart. Super clean. Yeah, Tesla can't bounce, like it's been lower highs all the way. Just lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Hmm, hmm something is triggering. Codex, okay, I just bought 50,000 shares apparently. 
I had a couple of orders in. Let's see if this thing has any... I mean, it looks good. Like, it's been building higher lows. I was building this range. Like, obviously, this is a starter position. It's a pretty liquid stock, so, you know, I could definitely add. Um, eventually. See, I'm not going to use a super wide stop on it. Like, either it goes or it doesn't. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna cut the stream. I, I really don't want to do another full day stream like yesterday. Um, but you know, my game plan is, you know, look for more ranges on Tesla. I think it's gonna bounce back to VWAP. But you know, um, just ranges to the downside. The longer the range, the better. The longer and tighter, the better. And that's it. No rocket science has to be involved. Just a little bit of common sense. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Well, I don't know if I guided you very well, but uh, because I'm, I'm not really happy myself how I traded Tesla. I was a little bit too aggressive on the front side, and so far on back side, I've been doing decent, but yeah, I mean, yeah, there's always something that's missing. But yeah, uh, thanks for joining, and I will see you tomorrow. And good luck. Trading Tesla.